I need to have a heart to heart chat. Mm -hmm. Do I look like I smell? <laughs> Show chat on screen. Someone just said you look wet. <laughs> Today, I have a very special guest today. She has been uh, pretty much gnawing at my ear for the past, I don't know, hour, saying, hey, when are we gonna start? When are we gonna start? When are we gonna start? And then now we're officially starting. So guess what? Here we are with the magnificent Mika Melatica. <laughs> you good? <laughs> you didn't have to <laughs> expose me that hard, dude. <laughs> uh, it's, to be honest with you, I think I have to. to I, I'm gonna be completely real. Because you said it's gonna be a certain time, and I'm like, oh, do I have to get, do I have to get ready now? Do I have to, oh my god, I'm so blurred. <laughs> I just, no, 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 you're I'm good now. I fixed you. I fixed you. We're good. I fixed you. We're, don't worry. I can fix him. I loved your intro, though. That's crazy. Then, okay, like, real, like real that. talk. Give me your honest, true opinion on my intro. Like, brutal honesty? Yeah, no, like, okay, <laughs> hold on a minute. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, uh,. I thought it was good. It was great until like I saw a video of you in a maid outfit trying to squash a watermelon between your thighs. I thought it's like, oh, this dude's like pretty funny. And then I saw you try to break a watermelon and I'm like, oh, okay. Did you see that I actually did break the watermelon though? <laughs> that's kind of impressive. I I'd say that's pretty impressive, but like- <laughs> No help at all. <laughs> it's a good introduction. That's all I can say. I, I feel the- yeah, no, it was great. I'm pretty <laughs> proud of it. I'm not going to lie. Well, I, I I thank you, Mika, for coming in. In the hole. Uh, this is basically a show where I invite people to come on and we hang out, we vibe. I get to know you a little more. We talk and we just do random stuff. And we uh, I throw a segment or two maybe at you. And uh, hopefully we can. Uh... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I love the name, by the way. Do I'm you like it? That, I, like, I was actually I... like, because at first I thought, Okay, maybe it's a little, you know, mm -hmm. you know. Mm, no, I, I don't know. Okay, I so but so anyway, don't worry about it then. So with that being the case, <laughs> I think it's a really appropriate name for what I have actually mm. gone through, which was essentially being pushed down the rabbit hole of a whole bunch of different VTubers. And now we're I'm currently in the hole, right? And okay, fair. But I also like tried to emphasize a lot on it's not just VTubers. I want it right. to be like a bunch of other people. So this is many holes. <laughs> he doesn't discriminate, you know, any hole. No, I don't. Any holes a goal. With that being said, uh, how you doing, Mika? How are you doing on this? It's like, it's like really late over there for you, isn't it? Yeah, but it's okay because I'm a streamer and like, I don't think streamers have proper sleep schedules. I'm not going to lie. Amen. So this episode of In The Hole is sponsored by Gamersubs. Gamersubs is a company that supplies with deliciously flavored energy drinks that come in powder form. All you gotta do is get one of their waifu cups or any of their shakers. This one's my favorite. This is the Delivery Girl. It's not available right now. It's sold out. This one's green and black, and that is my favorite color scheme. All you gotta do is fill this up with water, put a little bit of ice in it, and take your favorite flavor. Mine is Shy Lily's Blowhole Blast. Open up the shaker, open up the flavor. Since I have a full cup, I'm gonna be putting in two scoops. As you can see, it's all in there close it up shake it up this one turned a nice blue color and enjoy so good. Gamer Subs is a keto-friendly, zero-calorie drink that provides you with lots of energy for you to get started with your day. However, if you don't want that much energy, you just want to enjoy a nice, tasty beverage, you can always get the caffeine-free versions of every flavor. This is how I primarily start my day when I need to get some things done or when I need to game for extended periods of time. Now, as of right now, there are no waifu cups for you to buy, but in a couple days, as you can see from the website, there is a countdown to the next waifu cup that's coming out. And this one's going to be nice for my nurse lovers, apparently. Now, there is a way for you to get this waifu cup a little bit earlier than everybody else. If you download the app, you can get access to the cup 20 minutes earlier than anybody else. So download the app to get the drop on the new waifu cup drops. Eh. Not only that, but for a limited time only, they actually have a mid-season drop of merch. As of right now, they have a really cool purple hoodie, as well as a really nice, really, really nice mouse pad. Lots of different waifus, really good material, and... 
a lot of plot. If you go to the description down below and you click on the link or use coupon code COCO to get 10% off of anything on the site. Not only will you be getting a sweet deal, but you'll be supporting this channel as well. And I appreciate every single one of you that uses my link or my coupon code. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much, Gamersubs, for sponsoring this episode of In The Hole. Now let's get back into it. I'm gonna ask you these questions, all right? You ready for this? Every person that you have ever looked up to is invited to a banquet where you are the guest of honor, okay? No okay. one will be in attendance except for you, the collection of mm -hmm. big time uh, uh. people that, that you look up to or family or friends or content creators, VTubers, whatever the case may be. They're all there. After the meal, you, you are asked to give a 15 minute speech. What do you talk about? Oh God, that's a good question actually. Oh my God. About? Oh, I'll say, um, I'll look them in the eye and I'll be like, please give me a raise and I'll step down the stage. Because in my mind, it's going to be my boss. You admire your like boss? My boss is going to be there. Yeah, like I'm, if my boss is going to be there, I'll be like, please give me a raise. Please, I'm going to beg. I'm going to plead my case. Please give me a raise. Isn't your boss the chat? In a, in a way, but like, okay, if, if my chat's there, Why are you there, asking your like, chat that? Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, if that's the case, if my chat's going to be there, I'm going to step on the stage and I'll be like, not to scare you, the doors are locked. We're all going to die tonight. All right, hold on. All right, we're, <laughs> this isn't a banquet anymore. <laughs> You have all stepped what in. The fuck? I, yeah, it's like <laughs> all the drinks you've consumed, poisoned. You're all gonna die tonight. Give me all your money. All right, here's the next one. You meet a wizard in whatever city you're in, okay? And okay. he tells you, I can make you more attractive if you pay me. All of a sudden, you go, What the hell? What do you mean? He goes, mm -hmm. Let me show you. You see that person over there? It's like, yeah. Alakazam. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, he tells you, That person is $1 more attractive. And you look at them and you go, not really that much of a difference, but in the back of your mind, there's an undeniable fact that this person looks more attractive. The wizard comes up to you and he says, I can make you more attractive depending on how much you pay me. You can only pay me once. How much money are you giving me? Like permanently attractive forever? Yeah, forever. If you just are more Bro, attractive. I'm giving them my channel, like everything. <laughs> <laughs> all of my life savings, all of all my family's life saving, all my friends' life saving, all my chat's life saving. I'll be like, this is my channel, this is the password, right? This is how to pretend to sound like me, right? You're gonna have a stable job, you're gonna have a community, you're gonna have a platform, you're gonna have everything at you. F this, dude. Sorry, chat, but like, it is what it is. Do you have a value as to how you, so you can give, so the wizard can be like, okay, that's a number. Yeah, let's do that. Say the numbers are in the millions. You're going to be the most attractive person on the planet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, I better be. If you can, if you can be, if you can look good, you're gonna take that opportunity. Okay, that's the truth. I'm just an honest person, Chat. Yeah, you know that I'm. You know how passionate I am. Just okay? dead like, ass you know serious. I'm fugly, Chat. Like I am dead fugly. Okay, I need this. You gotta understand. A million right. bucks and I'll look like coefficient. Easy. Damn. These are not how you. I thought you would answer these, but that that's totally fine. <laughs> Last question. This is the okay. best one. Uh, for reason that cannot be explained, cats can suddenly read at a competent level. They can't talk and mm -hmm. they can't write, but they can read silently and understand the text. Uh, many cats love that because uh, they have something else to do other than f***ing up your couch. Uh, however, mm -hmm. some cats have become depressed and having an existential crisis because reading forces them to realize the limitations of what they can do. They can't really do much for right. cats. So with that being the case, do you think the average cat would enjoy Garfield or uh, would find this cartoon insulting <laughs> or offensive? <laughs> All right, okay. Let me think, right? If, if I was a cat, and I could only read and I can't talk and I see Garfield, right? This this lazy fucking cat that could only think in speech bubbles that you can read and eat a ton of spaghetti. Garfield is the VTuber of cats. It's either you love it because you like VTubers or you hate it because you don't like VTubers. But Garfield is definitely a VTuber for me. So would they find them offensive or, or not? And the average people would think like VTubers are pretty cringe. So I, I wouldn't say offensive, but I'd say pretty cringe. I'm kind of curious about you. What would what speech would you give? Why? You should, did you turn this on me? Yeah, I need to know. What speech would you give if you were in the same scenario? Uh, what is the speech that I would give for? God dang it! I didn't. Okay, great. It's uh, I wasn't expecting this. Shit. Great, fantastic. God damn it! All right, all right, all right. What I would talk about is there's one individual there that I I definitely want to single out. Mm hmm. And it's an individual that washed fucking rice with soap. Like what the? F I would basically turn it into a row session for people that I admire. Mm, I see. Do you play Pokemon? No, I, I don't. Oh my god! Wait, do you, I don't know anything about Pokemon. Do you know that? You've never <laughs> played a Pokemon game? Never in my life. I only know uh Pikachu and Snorlax. 
and that's it. Nice. I'm so sorry. I don't know anything. No, 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 no. You know what? If you know Snorlax, I'm happy with that. I'm I very, know very happy. Pikachu and Snorlax, and that's it. I know there's one uh, called Squirtle because someone sent me like a Riz donation, being like, "I can make you Squirtle," and I was like, "Lol, what does that mean?" And apparently, it's a Pokemon. I see. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's no way you're kidding. <laughs> I'm not. I I have a phase where I pretended to know uh, Pokemon. So then, because like I wanted to be accepted in like the community <laughs> so bad, but I, I pretended no, I, like I, I, I know what I was talking about. I yeah, relate with that. <laughs> pretended because like they would talk about, oh my favorite Pokemon is this, and I'm like, I like Snorlax, and they're like, oh yeah, when they do this, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> of course, whatever you say. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Like I have actually, I have a, uh, I have a Snorlax onesie. Real talk. Not, oh my god! Why didn't you use it today? It's kind of messed up. <laughs> it's kind of. You wore a maid dress on stream. Uh, if, oh, do you up. want me to wear the Snorlax onesie? Yes. I'll do it later. How about that? that I think that'd okay, be pretty okay, fun. Okay. But anyways, uh, I'm glad that you're here because uh, you are officially my first guest from the very popular agency Niji Sanji, which Woo! is which is so cool. And can I be completely honest with you? I didn't know that there was uh -huh. an, like an, 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 an Indonesia branch. Yeah. And I thought for the longest time that you were uh, from Japan. Oh. Well, technically, we got like merged, so technically the branch doesn't like exist anymore. But, but okay. I'm not Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's that's what I initially thought, and then I knew, and then I kind of like learned about the merge, and that's when I was like, oh, oh, she's I mean, from. That's uh, fine. She's from Niji San. She used to be from Niji San in Indonesia, and then they merged. Okay, that makes sense now. But yeah, a uh, lot of people don't even know I'm from Niji. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Wait, you, you had like uh, gen mates, right? Yeah, I do. I still have them. It's not like they're dead. They're still like. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, 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 you're right. No, you're right. No, 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 no. Like, uh, no, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, like, uh, I don't know how that works with um, when when everything. Mer well, I guess you can still, like, you still debuted with them, right? Yeah. When, like, okay, let's just go with this. Let's just move on. Uh, when did you <laughs> debut? Oh, sh um, I think two years. Cause two years? Almost two years, I think. Because I remember only celebrating like anniversary one time. Oh, is the two year coming up? Yeah. Oh, 31st July. Thank you for that first one person in chat that said something. I have lost like time management. Oh, actually? Brain. You know what? Speaking of which, I just realized this uh, because uh, Faith, uh, my Mom. girlfriend, she's the one that, that, that told me this. Yesterday or Monday, I can't remember. But I celebrate or it was my anniversary for going full time with content creation <gasps> for two years two years oh my god Congratulations. Yeah, I, isn't that crazy congratulations so, how is it by the way it's been weird okay if i were to be completely honest when it comes to like going working for society and then working mm -hmm. for a, a twitch chat uh i will say that i i think well i don't i don't think i know that i've gotten dumber <laughs> I've That's I've gotten I more stupid. I, I've gotten more dumb. That's I I relatable. definitely know. Like I I rely on other people to tell me what's going on, and also to tell me what certain things are. <sighs> it's rough. Like I learned a lot of like new things I, I that I didn't know about because I was uh what's called a, a Disney Channel kid and I watched a lot of Disney Channel back in the day. So uh -huh. it basically sheltered me from a lot of bad things that happened back in the day like uh i didn't know about this but there used to be uh, a, a website back in the day called pain olympics that's it girls no more disney tv for a while what the f is that? uh long story short it's just people who hurt themselves what yeah no, no yeah like that was like the wild west of uh the internet uh, the reason i know all this stuff i didn't know about this stuff either but i am dating someone that has been like literally festering in it for years like recently i learned about the term waffle stumping what is waffle stumping don't look at me. you said recently you learned it too it's so quiet what what i'm gonna get, the silence is making me like assume i regret starting this Not so do you know them. about uh wine uh, the french yeah like the drink do you yeah, know yeah, how yeah. they make wine in a barrel i think old school ways would be they get grapes and they would stomp on the grapes so I didn't know that. when they want to make waffle flavored wine they stomp on waffles seriously i couldn't believe it myself that was like one of the weirdest things i think i've 
ever heard of. Like I said, I, I, I grew up with Disney Channel. I don't think that's true. I feel like because I can see your face right now, I can tell you're lying. It's so much easier to know someone's lying if I can see their face. It is not it. What is waffle stopping? I, I do not believe you. Okay, I, I if I okay, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's true. It's not that. But I, I tried to, whatever. Uh, it, it's it's. I don't know what conversation brought this up. Like, I don't know what conversation you were in to bring this up. Well, like, I, I, I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying that <laughs> I'm, I'm learning new <laughs> terms and... All right, we're back. Someone we're, said he got back. waffle stomped by Twitch. <laughs> dude, I literally brought... I'm never bringing this shit ever again, dude. I literally yeah. got waffle stomped by, by, by OBS. <laughs> I literally Dude. like the stream crashes. It's like enough. No you more. You can't silence knowledge. Stop me mm. if this sounds a little weird, but do you know how like I okay, listen, I just learned about this too, so don't don't blame me. But do you know how pheromones work? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a fake thing. You know, like people make it as a genre. Oh really? Don't look at me that way. No, 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 no. That's real. No? Wait, am I saying that right? I don't think it's pheromones. I think it is pheromones. I thought it was like a like a genre specific. No. Like it's only there for fiction. No, 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 no. It's not pheromones. It's ovulation. What? <laughs> that, <laughs> I love how you're like, you know, pheromones. What, what is it, chat? Oh no, no, no. ovulation. <laughs> it's like yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Like okay, when can... when like let's say there's an animal and they're ovulating. They basically the body just for some reason makes them look super gorgeous for the mate to be able to reproduce. <laughs> It's like that, but like, think of that, but with like immune system. Actually, someone have told me about it where it's like, apparently if you're ovulating, you look more attractive, but that's complete bullshit. Like I break out the most when I'm ovulating. It's fucked up. It's like, I actually start getting acne and shit. like, I do not look good. I agree, but- You ovulate too? Oh my God. Bestie. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's not what I mean. <laughs> you don't have to be ashamed about it. It's okay. Everyone goes through it. It's okay. At one point, it's going to get better. You know, you, you start like you, once it's over, right? Like the hormones are going to peel off your womb and then you're going to bleed. It's okay. You don't have to be scared. It's a normal process of your body. You should accept it. It's, it's going to hurt a little, but they have medicine. It's modern society coefficient. Don't be scared. <laughs> okay. I think this is where we end it. Let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about anime. Now that you brought that up, I know a phrase. I remembered. I remembered a term, but oh, I don't great. know if you would know this. Okay. Uh, I, I learned okay. this from a uh, Twitch streamer as well. Do you know what vabbing is? What? Uh, vabbing. No. Yes. What is that? Good. Okay. Now we can talk about anime. Oh, that's. Now we can talk about anime. That's that's up what is okay now you gotta tell okay is it bad is it is, is it toss worthy uh no but it, it's uh the same basically i remembered this because of what we were talking about just now when it comes to like smells and stuff uh -huh. apparently it's a tiktok thing for women like you know how like when you go on a date you want to smell good so you put like perfume yeah. on right so the other person doesn't smell that you don't shower because you're a streamer yeah uh, so i mean okay listen <laughs> I shower. I'm not like, yeah. uh, let's say, uh, let's just throw names out there. Uh, Onigiri, all right? I'm not like her where she does. She don't shower. I shower. I smell good. It's okay. No one, no one can smell you through your webcam. Don't worry about it. I got you. I know how that feels. I, you know, yeah. I actually wanted to figure out a way for them to actually look like I smell good. And uh, I don't think you can you... look like you smell good unless you actually smell good. No, that's not true. I'm a fashion nerd. That's actually not true. Like, okay, you want to uh, know how to smell, like how to look like you smell good? Yeah. yeah. It's like super easy steps, right? You, you don't wear like a uh, a hoodie, right? Like hoodies are like a no-go, especially the ones with a zipper in front that's black with like white stripes. That that basically like instantly tells you that you smell like shit. Okay. And then you don't wear like a dark blue t-shirt underneath that also gives it away. And then you don't wear like jogger, black jogger pants with headsets and... Th that's that's kind of it. It kind of makes you like just Is that don't wear entire, that. You... Did you just describe your entire <laughs> outfit? <laughs> I'm describing your entire outfit. Shut the f <laughs> oh yeah, I just realized I look the same. Oh. <laughs> but usually, people in their brain, if you're dressed with like body fitted outfits, you look like you smell good. Like tuxedos and suits will make people think you smell good. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look yeah, like same uh... thing with women when they wear like like a, a dress that is more body fitted they look like they smell good 
I agree with that. Most of the time, you actually don't smell. It's just because people already think you smell, then you smell. Okay, hold Fun on. Fun fact. I need to have a heart to heart really quick. Chat. Mm -hmm. I showered. I groomed. I put on deodorant and cologne. Do I look like I smell? <laughs> Show chat on screen. Someone just said you look wet. <laughs> It's okay, man. It's it's okay. Like no one's gonna no one's gonna know. You know, I, I I'm here in the room. He smells great, Chad. Trust me. He smells. Wow. Is this is this the uh, the the perfume you wear most of? The wow. Do wow. you know what I wear? Like real talk. Can I guess? Go ahead. Okay. Is it a perfume or is it a body mist? It's a cologne. Uh, Whatever body that is. Spray. I'm insulted. Oh, I'm I offended. Know, like, a lot of people wear Axe. You will never see me wear Axe unless it's like so, like an emergency. I'm at like a, a convention and someone's like, does anybody have any deodorant anywhere? And they pull out Axe. That's the only time that I might oh actually- Oh my God, you're so base. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the cologne and you're gonna see it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my God, you're he's gonna, gonna leave me it. with you guys, chat. Guys, help me. He's holding me as, as, as a hostage. Should I actually tell him what bad thing is? I feel like now that the topic's over, I feel like the dude should be spared. Look at this. What does that look like to you? <gasps> you have G. Oh my god. I smell like a yes? king. All right. That's not just. That's the like the original and their most popular brand, dude. It's. I am a huge fan of cologne, and smelling good. What's not my bad. night scent? What the. F <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. This is one thing I, I needed to ask you because apparently like this came up in my stream and I need, they're like, mm -hmm. you should tell this to Mika. Uh, so, oh yeah, yeah, tell me. <clears throat> I did it. So do you know about Javanese? Oh yeah, for sure. So I didn't know that was a language. So we were looking at Google Translate. I saw Japanese and then I saw Javanese and I immediately thought that it was, uh, what was it? Okay, listen. I'm really dumb, so don't judge me too much, especially people out there. Don't cancel me, okay? I uh -huh. thought it was the language of, like, Jav. I thought it was porn language. Porn? Yeah, no. <laughs> that... Uh, <laughs> that's what... That's what <laughs> so, you know, you're completely right. I speak very fluent, very, very fluent Javanese, Chad. I, I, I agree. Speak Javanese, huh? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of a lot of people like say like, oh my God, you have a lonely man. So I'm like, yeah, I speak Javanese. Hey, <laughs> perfect. That's great. I, I, this is not the way. I did not think the story was going to go down this way. A lot of people actually thought Javanese was a programmer's language because of Java. That, okay, that was my second thought. So. Yeah, we speak in like commas and, and numbers and stuff like programmers do. It comes naturally yep. to us. It, it's just what it is, yeah. So that reminds me of something and I wanted to ask you, uh, do you uh, by any chance watch a One Piece? No, I, but I can pretend I like I do. That. I'm really good at pretending it. No, no, no. You know what's, dude, everyone fucking tells me that and it's so funny. You're my fourth guest on this show and every single <laughs> one of them has told me I can pretend that like I watched it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. It's not the same, okay? It's not, it's not the same. I know some things in One Piece, you know? Tell me what you know. I know that it's real. Haha! <laughs> I'm educated enough to make a joke about it. I know there was a um uh yeah, there's a character, I think their name was Boa or something. It's like a girl. <gasps> that's my favorite character. Her. You know what she does? But I, that's it. No, but I know she's scary. She does this thing where she like bends backwards, like she's doing the limbo and she points at you. What's a JoJo character? Yeah, it's kinda <laughs> like a JoJo character, but not. Kinda hot though. Right? <laughs> I mean kinda that's hot. Can someone make Mika fan art of her doing that? That would be sick. I am so addicted to TikTok. I just, my attention span is only there for like a minute max. Cause like, I've, I've just been watching TikToks all day. You know what's really funny? So my, my girlfriend, she also watches a lot of TikTok. I don't, I don't have TikTok so on my phone. I have a TikTok. Cause I think uh, I like it as a platform that I can expand oh, and do shorts and stuff. Uh, boomer. But, what? Continue boomer, continue. Speak your funny boomer language. I'm <laughs> a boomer cause I don't have TikTok on my phone? Yeah, it's kinda, why the f*** do you even have a phone? You don't watch TikToks all day? What's wrong with you? Are you serious? She said cancel him, dude. What kind of streamer doesn't watch TikTok? Just I mean, okay, okay, now. listen. Gonna... I watch TikToks, but like in, I basically go to Reddit. There's a subreddit that's only filled with like the best TikToks. Reddit? Reddit user? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Here, okay, hold on a minute. No, 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 it's no, no, no. It's a Reddit no. user explain. chat run. Oh, no. Let me explain. I don't, I use Reddit more often, yes. 
because but i i'm not like a reddit andy you i know like what's to nuts i can't use reddit because it's banned oh okay <laughs> That okay, that makes sense. I have to turn on like a VPN to access Reddit, but at that point, right? Mm -hmm. Why the f would you access Reddit if you already have a VPN on? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's true. No, so I, 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 I get you, I get you. Person. But uh, I know that I, I don't have TikTok on there because I have a very addictive personality and I know that I wouldn't get any work done. Oh my god, that's me, that's me right now. You're so yeah. right. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't get any work done, and I have that already enough. Like, it was one time because I do uh, YouTube shorts because you know it's in the app and I'm on, I do YouTube all the time. So she's on the app. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just, if I, I have a few minutes to kill, I boot up YouTube Shorts instead. And from my understanding, uh, TikTok is way better than YouTube Shorts when it comes to actual content. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, you know, logistically that works out for me because if the content sucks, it makes me want to do other. Sh so on paper it works, but in actuality, I still go through hours and hours of just stupid. Sh that I don't need to watch, but I watch because you go to Reddit to watch TikTok. I go to TikTok to watch Reddit. We're kind of not the same. I realize how f***ing my brain has become. Like I can only watch something if there's either Minecraft or f***ing Subway Surfer in the background. If not, then like you lost me. It's I personally of... <laughs> love this new wave of TikTok logic. I I personally love it. Some people are like, I hate that logic. It's so stupid. I think it's great. Yeah, I don't know if that's me with like, you know, like I, I mentioned this earlier today. Like, I don't know if I have ADHD. But I just know that sometimes I like to fidget with a lot of different things. Like, uh, I showed you my my toy. Oh, yeah, you said this. Off yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed you my little toy. It's just... Yeah, he was like, sorry, Mika, if you're going to see me play with this, like, you know, I just need to fidget and makes my brain work. And I'm like, don't worry about it. I feel like uh, I have five friends and all of them have ADHD. I, I have never once met a... None of my streamer friends do not have ADHD. I don't know how to explain it. It's like... I have seen people fidget with anything to the point that I just just normal and like mm. I I don't fidget but my brain works if I see them fidget so like oh. watching you fidget I'm like oh I'm starting to think but like really? if I were to fidget that's yeah nice because level. like fidgeting with something myself like the sound makes me distracted and I'm just like okay shut the f everyone shut the f up I need to spin my wheelie like this is like a TikTok yeah, this is a TikTok this I wonder if TikTok I can make this is. into a TikTok <laughs> I wonder if I can make this into a TikTok. And then it'll like actually work. It probably will. I'm not gonna lie. You want to know something? What? Before this, I'm not a, I'm not very educated with streaming culture and shit, so I didn't know yeah. streamers. I, d I don't watch a lot of animes. I I'm gonna be dead honest. I didn't know a lot of things to the point. I I've said this on my stream, but I don't know if I've told you this. Mm. Um, before I start streaming as a VTuber, I thought that I had to have a very cute voice and personality, so I legit faked it, like. Yeah. I faked my voice. I faked my I whole entire that. personality to be like this cute girl, like pure girl thing, right? And then uh, a viewer of mine actually went like, oh, Mika, the moment you reach 20k subs, like, you know, I dare you to say a bad word. And at that time, I was like, oh, no, no. Like, I, unironically, I was like, oh, oh, maybe I can say one thing if that's really what you want. And my chat was like, yeah, I want to hear her say a bad word, right? Mm -hmm. So the moment I reached 20k, someone brought it up and I was like, oh, oh. I guess I have to do it for you guys. I'll, I'll say one bad word, okay? And then I just instantly flipped. I was like, f you, you piece of sh**. Suck my c**k, lmao. And then now I'm a streamer like this. Because back then, imagine it, right? This is how it switched. I was like, oh my god, frick, really? Oh, I, I guess I will. <laughs> if that's really what you want. Okay, okay, guys. <laughs> is that the voice you used back suck. in the day? Uh, No, uh, uh, you want to hear the uh, voice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Okay, okay. I, I want to <clears throat> hear it, I want to hear it. Okay. <clears throat> Oh my god, I'm really excited to be here with you today. Why are you so quiet? You're making me shy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hi. That, that's the voice I'd use. Okay, my chat yeah. hates it, by the way. It, it's insane because you know how people are like, oh my god, please do an uwu voice. My chat would fucking mold every time I do it. I can do it more irritatingly because I've been practicing it. Unironically, I would watch so much anime moments so that I can improve my cute voice just for my viewers to hate it. People would be like, I'm going to redeem an ara ara or I'm going to redeem an uwu voice. No one fucking likes it. Can you they, say they the ara ara? I want to see. I want to hear that one. Ara ara. But my f***ing viewers cringed, bro. Like, that's pretty good. I would say that I'm pretty good at the... I don't know, man. people hate it. I, I, I think that's why. pretty good. Some, I mean, I think that was pretty good. <laughs> I now, would say that. people hate the ara ara a little bit. Yeah, less, can we get some claps in the chat? Voice. That was pretty good. 
that that's actually really funny because i know that there's a lot of vtubers out there that kind of do the same uh and they still do which is which is fine I, like uh that, there's nothing wrong yeah with for that. sure but there have, has been some that were super drastic uh, like the one that comes Ooh. to mind for me there is a vtuber called snuffy uh, she basically had that same exact thing where she had a high a more high-pitched voice and then all of a sudden she kind of just turned it off and started speaking as naturally as possible and then all of a sudden everyone loved it so much more everyone loved yeah. it so much more just be natural just be yourself and i i i it's think that's nuts. it's it's is way better and some people you know like i said some people uh like to do what they want to do and that's fine but uh i've always been a big advocate of being natural and stuff so i i'm, I'm not gonna lie mika i'm glad that you no longer sound like that <laughs> uh okay so there's one thing that I, you know what actually before we uh continue on this has been great just talking just you and i and stuff like that has been really fun i could do it literally for hours no i'm serious i could do it for oh, hours i, I hate him to hours. say this <laughs> I haven't received the money yet then. But <laughs> when it comes to like there's certain things that I would love to like uh to ask you and stuff like that cuz I think it's really interesting to see somebody like you that's within uh, the organization of Niji Sanji which is so good. I love Niji Sanji so much. There's so many talented people there. Uh <laughs> I know she was kind of do that. <laughs> I knew she was going to no! do that. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. So I want you, uh, if if that's okay, to say, what do you say has been one of your favorite collabs with Niji Sanji? When it comes to idea, mm -hmm. like like a collab idea that I enjoyed, the most recent one is probably the one I did with Mista on his channel, where it's like the lie detector. I thought that was a pretty like banger on time. Oh, did you do a lie detector thing with Mista? I did, it f***ed me over. Like now we have this really insane narrative because of it. Like it, it genuinely f***ed me over, but I thought it was funny. So we decided that we're going to be a little bit controversial or something like start up a drama because our channels were getting irrelevant or some sh <laughs> And we we're going to ask like, <laughs> we we're going to ask questions that are, you know, going to start up some sh right? With the community or something. And the questions are like, you know, the basic high school sh of like, do you have a crush on me? Oh, and no, he dude. asked me, he asked me like, have you ever seen me as like a lover or something? Something in that, those lines. And I said, no. And it buzzed, right? And I was like, holy f no way. Ask me again. And then he did. And I said, no. And it buzzed again. And I was like, it's because of the machine. Like the machine will buzz no matter what. So ask me again. Third time, right? He asked me. I said, yes, because I thought it's going to buzz. I said yes, it didn't buzz. <laughs> and it completely f***ed me over. And now it has like this narrative Listen. where people like, when I asked him the same question, those things said, are no, factual, you know that? Buzz. Basically the machine worked. It had this narrative until the end. Fourth time in the end of the stream, I asked him to ask again, right? And I said no, and it buzzed. So I'm at that point where I'm just like, okay, you know what? F it. I'm gonna go with the narrative. You know, when, when I stream Damn. and there's like, like that one troll that appears in my chat, like, is this Mista's girlfriend? I just said yes. Bro, like, ask him to yeah, pay child it. support. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought the idea was good. It's because like he made it into a really good stream. Like it's produced well. It's like a like a whole video going on. Uh, but I think my favorite overall is when I did an off collab with everyone and I made them try Indonesian food. That's probably one of my fondest moments. Wait, that you was the make first them try and as well. you cook for people? Yeah, I brought like Indonesian food from my country and I gave it to them and like I make them try it out and give me their honest opinion and I, I love their reaction it was so the, nice that is actually so sick I love any yeah. type of like food like that like food type of collapse like okay here's this food what is your reaction yeah it was so good that was I'd probably say that's my fondest one but for like creative funds I would say the one, the most recent one was pretty fun. With Mista, yeah. Do you like, is there a preference or, well, I know that your main platform is on YouTube. Do you have I like, like you know, oh, uh, Twitch? I quite like Twitch. Yeah. yeah, but I just don't know how it works. But like the people are just a bit more chill around like on Twitch and like, I don't get like, oh, in trouble. Because my main platform is YouTube, I'm not, I don't have like the time to learn about Twitch unless it's when I stream. I tell people like I'm on Twitch to just like relax and be stupid. So it's like the lowest energy, weirdest content you'll ever see in your life. It's just, just chatting. There's a phase where I streamed on Twitch to specifically play chess. And like, Are you good I still at chess? remember this. No, Fair I'm enough. okay. Like I, I know the rules and that's kind of it. But I like playing chess, it's fun. And I would like rage. Like people play chess and just relax. I would full on rage because I play it with my community. And if mm. they beat me, I would rage so hard 
that there was this really kind person that would play with me just to lose so that I would feel happy. Wow. I know. <laughs> wow. Okay. What do you think of Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, do you play okay. Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you know Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, oh Have you interacted I know Yu -Gi -Oh? with Yu-Gi-Oh? I know Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh because my uh, my friend Mary have been desperately trying to get me into it. Oh, I know Mary. Uh, yeah, that, but... that, that motherfucker literally bashed the door open and said, could I please uh, play some Yu-Gi-Oh with you, my good sir? Oh, and... that, that does sound like a very Mary thing to yeah, say. Yeah, and uh, I'm like, yeah. And then he showed up and we played Yu-Gi-Oh and, and it, was, uh, it was it was pretty good. It was pretty fun. It was really funny. Oh my God. It was so great because uh the matches that we were playing and stuff like that he like anime fights it so he sounds like mm -hmm. one of the characters from the anime and he's so good because yeah. his accent is ridiculous well, and now i will summon my photon galaxy dragon and i'm like yeah this guy's pretty legit this yeah. guy's pretty great but i know that um there's some other uh people niji sanji that play Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff like that too Ooh, yeah a um, lot i think rosemi and taka plays it yeah, I, I, I don't know about Taka, but I know Rosemi. It's actually like one of my dreams to be able to play her in Yu-Gi-Oh. I like tune into a lot of her uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh streams. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's it. I can't believe she's playing this deck. This is insane. And I'm like, I want to play her so bad. No, no, chat spam the nerd emote. Look at this nerd talking about decks and nerds. Alira also was playing too. <laughs> Anyways, what I was going to say is, uh, have you watched both? Yes, I even, yes, I have. So, I haven't read the do manga. you watch it? Oh, you read? Oh. Both. I'm a very loyal Naruto fan, but like. Wow. Yeah. So you're not like ever, like the 90, uh, the other 90% of Naruto fans where they literally just like, there is no bur burrito. Burrito does no, not exist. No, I have read Boruto. I've actually like, I've, I already know the plot because like, I already know the plot in advance because I read the manga. But I'm going to say this chat, like, holy shit, that anime is... Mm, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, to be I honest know. with, like, with when it comes to mangoes, right? I only have read one mango in its entirety. What? Demon Slayer. <gasps> Same. I've read I, Demon Slayer. I have the entire collection up there, actually. It's uh, it's pretty dope. The, I bought it at Barnes and Nobles and the complete entire series, and I read the whole thing. Mm. Uh, but uh, when it comes to mangoes in particular, there's three shows, three shows that I watch mangoes i don't read them my hero academia boruto so do, you, do you watch any of the other forbidden so there's the forbidden four is basically like dragon ball one piece bleach naruto you watch any oh, of the dragon. other forbidden? i love the kameya mamas kameya mamas man you really are a tiktok yeah. girl <laughs> i'm gonna Shit. guys watch me kameya mama this five-year-old <laughs> <laughs> Call me your mama. <laughs> On Fortnite. Yeah. I love the... Uh, I love the dragon balls. I love the balls. I love the balls of dragon. Yes. When, yeah. when, when the balls are dragon. Yes. That is, I love I that. love it when a uh, vegetable ended up like having a crush on the hottest character available. Bully bully. Absolutely. I, I also think I've been think... molded over uh -huh. the fact that they had a kid. Really? Why? Oh, like, okay. <laughs> the whole concept of it made me go like, what? Why? What? what? The fact that Goku had a kid named Rice, like I'm, I'm never gonna get over that. Like imagine have like giving a like giving having birth, having Excuse a child me? and being like, yeah, his name is Gohan, just Rice. It's like imagine giving birth to someone being like Gohan. This happened to Sasuke like Naruto as well. Sarada. <laughs> you just realized? Oh wow. You just realized? Yeah. Big fan. Well, I'm a big fan, my ass. Listen, I personally think Krillin is the winner here. He's I like the, the bald winner. guy. I forgot his. I forgot who he is, but the old bald guy. Kind of hot. Roshi? Yeah, Master Roshi, kind of hot. He's kind of like cute. You know, like he cares. He would like riz you up a little bit, but he's like sweet. What gentle. does rizzing you up mean? I like he know. makes like. <laughs> he would riz you up. You know, he's gonna hit you with the master charisma, and then like, but he's so wholesome and gentle. Something about him making like, oh my god, daddy. You say old, I say what experience. <laughs> you say I'm a bull. <laughs> yeah. You say red flag, I say I'm a bull. You say old, I say experience. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. God damn, we've gone Ooh. on for so long and it's so late for you. I need to let you go. Oh my god, Truj. But Lord. Oh, yeah. There is so we, we we did so much today. Thank you so much, Mika. My God, it's been an Thank absolute pleasure. Thank you for pleasure. coming. Um, absolute pleasure talking to you. It's been hey. an absolute uh, blast. <laughs>
it's been lovely. It's been so much fun having you on. Uh, I hope you had fun. I definitely did. I did too. He paid me to say this. No, you had fun, right? You had fun. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I, th that was my attempt of at me gaslighting her, but I don't know if it worked. That wasn't even a gaslight, bro. That was like a threat. <laughs> that was a full threat. <laughs> All right. Mika, <laughs> Drew, Drew, Drew. go to bed. I will go ahead I and will. send off the chat. Thank you so much for coming by once again. Anything you need, just let me know in the DMs. I might hit you up Thank with some you. Indonesian wording type of thing. Yes, um, please. Yes. All right, Mika. Have a good night. Take care. Have a Sleep good night. Well. Do I just like go? Because what if I just, go and your TV crashes? It doesn't. See, okay, technically, you're not even here anymore. Super cool thing. I can be like this, like. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That was uh, that was like way better. Hold on, do that again. All right, and then, okay, okay I, I can go like this actually. Oh shit, shit. Okay, I can yeah, do this. Yeah, just. All right. So everyone say bye. Oh my god. So everyone say bye, bye. to little me 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 mi casita. Goodbye, chat. I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.